Hi everybody. In this question, we're supposed to determine algebraically the domain, range, and the intercepts and asymptotes of f of x is equal to 6 to the x minus 7 plus 8. Okay, so we're talking about the graph, but we're going to do a lot of this stuff algebraically here. So, determine the, algebraically the domain. Okay, let's talk about the domain first. Okay, well this is an exponential function. Okay, think back to your exponential functions. Okay, uh, basically they just look like this, right? They slide along the x-axis and then they shoot up here. x minus 7 is going to move at 7 to the right, plus 8 is going to move at 8 up. None of that is going to change the domain. Okay, The domain is going to be a set of x values such that x is an element of the reals. All real numbers. Okay, Not an issue there. Let's slide over here. 6 to the x minus 7 plus 8. Now we're going to determine the range here. Okay. Well, an exponential function, just think about an exponential function. If I had, for example, let's just come over here. If we had, for example, y equals just 6 to the x, that would look like this. Slide along the x-axis and shoot up here. The domain, here, sorry, the range here would be y is greater than or equal to 0. Now, let's take a look at what we got here. Moving it 6 to, sorry, 6, ugh, 7 to the right is not going to change that. Okay, A horizontal translation will not affect the range, but a vertical translation will. In this particular case here, all we're going to do is move this whole thing 8 units up. So now, instead of being greater than or equal to 0, my range here will be that y, it'll be a set of y values such that y is greater than or equal to 8. Okay, Now, I've got to figure out the intercepts. Okay, well, let's take a look at the y-intercept first here. So the y-intercept, I'm just going to make x equal to 0. So that's, that's pretty easy here. So for my y-intercept, okay, that's going to be, uh, what do we got here? We're going to say y is equal to 6 to the 0 minus 7 plus 8. Okay, and that's going to be, oh, that's going to be a horrendous number. It's going to be... Um, 1 over 6 to the 7th, that's going to be just a really big number here, or <laughs> big number, should be a really, really small number, 1 over 6 to the 7th uh, plus 8. Okay, I'll tell you what, give me two seconds here. I am going, I am walking over to grab my calculator here, and I'll just evaluate that. Uh, that is going to be just a really, really small decimal there, so um, I'm going to have here... Whoa, whoa, you can't see that. Let me just block that off there. Uh, 1 divided by 6 to the 7, okay, plus 8. That's, that is essentially, okay, that is approximately 8. Okay, now, the x-intercept is going to be, we're going to let y equal 0, so that's going to be 0 is equal to 6 to the x minus 7 plus 8. Okay, well, bring the 8 over, and we're going to get negative 8 is equal to 6 to the x minus 7. Now, think about this. I'm going to, in order to solve this, I would take the log of both sides, but that would force me to take the log of that negative 8 there. Nope, don't think so. So there's going to be no x-intercept. And actually, that makes perfect sense, because this thing shifted 8 units up away from the x-axis, and so, yeah, we're not going to get any x-intercepts. Finally, asymptote. Uh, well, for an exponential function, okay, the asymptote should normally be along the x-axis here, and in this case, this whole thing's been moved up 8 units. So now, instead of being... Oh, my gosh. Ugh. Okay, I know someone's going to have a cow on me. Not or equal to. Ugh. You know, as soon as I was doing this one, I was thinking about the asymptote. <laughs> I was thinking, well, I'm just going to refer back to this little graph when I do the asymptote later. I am so sorry, everybody. That's right there. That's not or equal to 8. It's greater than 8 because 8 is the asymptote, okay? Our asymptote here is going to be uh, y is equal to 8, okay? Sorry about that. The, the range does not include that value. I 
wasn't thinking. I was trying to think ahead here. Anyway, hopefully that doesn't throw you too far off there. I uh, hope that helps.